there welcome back to the channel thank you as always for clicking play if you are new around here hello welcome i am gamer james uh, what this is this is an introduction to a new series of series that we're going to bring to the channel over the course of football manager 2019 um, it's called Save Our Season. Uh, as you can see, we've fast-forwarded through to December the 27th, 2018. We're on the game status screen, so you can see uh, what leagues are installed, uh, what the leagues are loaded into the save. Uh, the idea is, you can probably see at the top of the screen, um, at the moment, the, t the save is called Bottom at Christmas, um, because that's the type of save it is. Um, we're going to call it Save Our Season. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a club that is bottom of their, t of their division at Christmas after the Boxing Day games or hopefully it'll be around about the halfway point in whichever division we end up in. And we're going to see if we can save that club from relegation. Now for the first series we're going to, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. So as we look through some of these leagues we're going to pick out a few clubs that we maybe could... Um, potentially take over first and we're going to put it out to a vote you guys can do it so there'll be a poll up at the top of the screen you can also jump in the comments as well uh, so let's get into it as you've had a chance now to look at all the leagues that are loaded i'm not going to list them all off um we're going to look at the big five so we're going to look at england france germany italy and um spain we're also going to have a look at po uh, portugal uh, maybe russia as well uh, the netherlands and just see if we could come up with something to um to do so let's have a look at the premier league first and okay um i'm seeing this for the first time with you guys uh i was not expecting wolverhampton wanderers to be bottom of the premier league at the halfway point they've only won two games all season um how is that possible have they got a ridiculous amount of injuries or something um no R rui patricio is out injured which isn't going to help of course um, that's bizarre, isn't it? So, Wolves, immediately add them to the list. I know I did an English save with Huddersfield uh, last uh, last time out on the game on FM18, but that one really strikes me as uh, as potential. Um, I've got a notepad here, so I'm going to write down the ones that I think could be good. So, we've got Wolves that are five points away from safety, so definitely add them to the list. Uh, let's have a look now in... France, let's see who's bottom of league earn, um, and it's Strasbourg, and they're seven points away from safety. I'm a little loath to do France at the minute. I really, I don't, I don't really feel it. Um, I did five seasons with Marseille on FM17, um, and so for me, I'm done with France for a little while. Not to say a bit further down the line we won't take on that challenge. That's the beauty of these series of mini series. They're all going to start from this point. This is. The base save that we've uh, that we've got for each individual series. As I say, they're not always going to be top flight saves. I may go down into into National South. I may go down into uh, Bundesliga, uh, the Spider Bundesliga. I may drop down into a lower division in Spain or something like that, and just add to the challenge that way. In the Bundesliga, then it is Hanover ninety six uh, on uh, Zex and Neunzig. Um, that one definitely add to the list. It will definitely add Hanover in. I'll mark it down now. They're eight points away from safety. I definitely like the look of that. Um, that would be really tough. They're seven points away from even Fortuna Dusseldorf and Werder Bremen in that uh, relegation playoff. They come back on the 19th of January from their winter break. And, oh, and apologies, bash the microphone. And Hanover will play Werder Bremen. So the first game of a potential series there would be a massive, massive game immediately, wouldn't it? It would be a relegation six pointer straight away. Lose that, and we're in big, big trouble. So definitely add Hanover to that list. Let's go across to Italy and see what's going down in Serie A. And it's Chievo. And oh my word, that looks bad. Chievo, one win from 18 games, five points. It says at the bottom they had three points deducted. Um, so they must have started the season on minus three, which means they would have had eight points, um, which wouldn't have made them an awful lot better off, uh, it has to be said. But we're going to add them to the list because that looks like a mission impossible, doesn't it? Um, if I can save that season, I am a miracle worker. So we'll add Chievo into that list. Uh, I wonder who you're going to pick. Um, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at Spain first. We'll do the big five first. So we've done England, France, Germany, and Italy. So let's have a look at Spain. 
Um, again, because I did Barcelona in FM18, don't really want to go to don't really want to go to La Liga if I'm honest. It does look interesting though. Real Valladolid at bottom. You've got Girona and Rayo down there with them, um, and there's only four points away from Espanyol in 16th. So that does really uh, appeal to me. Look at Barcelona, 16 wins from 16 games, and yet they haven't got the leading goal scorer. How bizarre! They've got plus 27 goal difference, and yet. No, no leading goal scorer in there. That's amazing. Um, Vital lead, maybe, maybe later on in FM19 we would take that one on as well. All right, so that's a big five done, and we've already got Wolves, Hanover, and Kievo uh, picked. I think I'm going to put four on the short list. So let's have a look at uh, Portugal. Let's see what's happening in Liga Nosh. Uh, and it's Rio Ave at the bottom, and again, that one's quite close, isn't it? There's only 10 points all the way up into ninth place. Uh, they're 14 games in, so there's a lot of season to go there. They've got 20 league games left. Um, possibility? Um, we'll see. We'll put that on the on the maybe list. I mean, um, like I say, I've got three definitely in Wolves, Hanover and Kievo. I want one more to make it a, a good four. So let's have a look at... Oh, should we have a look at Russia? Let's have a look at Russia. At the Rosgostrach Russian Football Championship. Yeah, we won't be uh, saying that very often. And it's it's, it's Angie. And Angie Makashkala. Um, what happened to them? Why are they not good anymore? I thought they were rich and had loads of money. I know they they had to they, they had to live somewhere else, didn't they? And travel like fifteen hundred miles to games. I guess that's taking its toll on the end on play because they had some big players there, didn't they? In the past, Samuel Eto and and the like. So that one could be a challenge, and I've, I can't ever remember managing in Russia before. So again, maybe maybe one for a bit later down the line of this series. Uh, we'll we'll disregard it for now. Uh, let's have a look at Scotland. Um, because again, I can't remember the last time I managed in Scotland, and we've got Livingston, um, and that is already looking like a pretty much a three horse race for the relegation, um, which might not be all that interesting. Um, it could be, but Livingston, I'm assuming, are probably the, the favourites to get relegated, aren't they? They are. Um, so, yeah, I'm not 100% sold on that one either, to be honest. Um, what else have we got? We've got, uh, we've got Sweden. Shall we have a look at Sweden? I don't even know if all these leagues run concurrently, and they don't. Sweden haven't even kicked off yet, and they don't kick off until uh, until April. So definitely rule Sweden out for now. Uh, not to say I wouldn't do a save in Sweden at some point. Um, I'm not going to look at South America, because, of course, we're doing Estudiantes, so we're already in South America. Um, is that all of them that we've looked at? Oh, Holland. Didn't see you over there. Let's have a look at the Netherlands then. Let's have a look at the Eredivisie. And let's see what's going on down there. So you've got Feyenoord at the top and at the bottom. And wow! FC M in the bottom. But just look how tight that is. All the way up to Willem Tvai in 10th. There's only four points. So you get a win and you're jumping up that table. They've won three out of 17. The goal difference isn't shocking, so they're not getting hammered. Minus 11 after 17 games isn't bad. So there's something there to build on with that team, I think. Do you know what? I cannot remember the last time I managed in the Netherlands. So we're going to put FC Emmen down as well. So Kievo is kind of like a mission impossible, isn't it? Hanover as well is going to be really, really tough, especially if you lose that first game. Wolves, inexplicably, are bottom of the Premier League. But they're going to have a big old transfer budget, aren't they? They're going to, they're going to be, you would imagine they're going to have money to spend in January. That one to me thinks that if we went with Wolves, we would get the series off to a successful start. And we've got FC Emmen, which I really like the look of because they're only two points from safety and they're only four points away from 10th. I mean, it's, it wouldn't be ridiculous to think that you could get them safely mid-table. So that's what we're going to go for, guys. Vote in the poll. Get in the comments as well if you'd rather vote that way. Um, I'll even put a poll up on Twitter with the video as well, at GamerJamesFM, to follow me there. Uh, it's, it's the Premier League with Wolves. It's the now fully licensed Bundesliga with Hanover, Zex and Neunzig. It's Serie A with Kievo Verona. And it's the Eredivisie with FC Emmen. Let me know whose season you want to see me hopefully save. Um, as I say, links down below for my Twitter, for the blog where you can read about Save with Aston Villa. Um, and there'll be links down there as well for my Estudiantes series if you haven't watched that yet. I can't wait to get going on this. Um, 
as you can see, with this intro has been recorded in the beta. Hopefully, um, the game will start. The first series will start in, at some point in the future on the on the full fat game. Um, what I intend to do is record it all and then just re just release it over the course of a week uh, daily because there should really only be maybe half a dozen episodes per series. So the plan is to just do a week of it, maybe while I'm in a, in a summer break or a winter break in the main series with Estudiantes. Um, I just think it'd be something to uh, to keep the channel ticking over while I'm plugging away on that other save. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I know it's not unique to YouTube. I know I'm not the first person to do it. I know there's probably bigger guys doing it right now, but it's the first time that I've done it. I really want to have a go. It's my first uh, little spin-off. Uh, there's going to be more things coming out when I can get into the editor on the main game. So yes, stick to uh, stay tuned to the channel. Stick around, guys, and we will see you very soon. And get voting. I can't wait to see who you make me manage. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.